Alright you guys, so I'm going to take you through what a normal like 8 to 10 minute warm up should feel like. The whole point of a warm up is to get your blood flowing, your body getting ready for exercise, and we're trying to teach your energy systems to move from wanting to burn carbohydrates and sugars into wanting to get into your fat burning zone. So I have a timer, you can either follow me or you can do this on your own. We're gonna go about 30 to 45 seconds through these motions, but we're slowly gonna start increasing your heart rate and then towards the end of the warm up, we're gonna get into some dynamic stretches to open up through your muscles before you get started with an actual workout. So I'm gonna hit the timer and we're gonna start off with some basic body weighted squats. So feet are gonna be about shoulder width to hip width distance apart. Sit about a third to a fourth of the way down to start with first. You don't want to go into your lowest strongest squat right off the bat. You want your body to be able to move through these motions and warm itself up first. So being able to let your body open up through those stretches, through that work. So sit your hips back like you're reaching for a chair first, inhaling as you lower, exhaling as you lift to the top. Just about done with these squats. The next one is going to go up into a hip stretch. So your toes are gonna slightly turn out just a little bit further. So find your low squat. If you can't keep your heels down into this position, open up your feet a little wider. Otherwise, try to keep your hands in. You can stay here to open up to those hips and just pause. Or I like to start taking the twist. So hearts come, hands come back to my heart center, reaching and twisting. I'm using my opposite elbow and tricep to push my heel into the floor and my knee away from my shoulders. Just about there. Again, take your feet wider if you need to, and feel free just to pause in the squat at the bottom. Hold for four, three, two, make yourself even. Hands come up, lift up. We're gonna find your first set of jumping jacks. So feel the release in your hips and your low back. That stretch is honestly gonna help you get a little bit lower into those squats and really release into those hips. Here, open your hands up wide overhead. Keep your heels dropped to the floor. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. It is getting our body nice and warm. So this is gonna be round number one. So here in about eight seconds, we're gonna go back into those body fitted squats. Use is already two minutes of your warm up. It goes by super quick. Now that we're back into the squats, inch down a little further. If you want to open up that body a little bit more each and every time. Again, sending your hips back like you're reaching for a chair. Press your heels down into the floor. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you press up. Deep breaths in and out. Almost there, down with these. We're going to meet back down into that hip opener. Try something a little bit different to really open up through those hips and that low back. Sink down. Again, try not to get your toes to turn out too much. You want them to slightly turn. Lift through your chest. Press those shoulders, elbows into those inner thighs, right on those inner knees. Again, this twist is optional. This squat this low is optional. If you can't keep your heels down, widen your stance, then change the motion. It's okay. Meet your body where, where you're at and what it's capable of doing. One more to the side. Lift back center, hands down. Slowly reach up. Second set of jumping jacks. Already going in to minute number four. Again, these eight to 10 minute warm ups will go by super fast. Trying to get your heart rate going. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more. And hopefully, maybe even feeling like that sweat is finally coming on. Deep breaths in and out. We got about 15 more seconds here. Really open up. Every time you pull your hands down by your sides, really feel like you're trying to pull something apart. So you're really opening up through your shoulders, activating through that back. Almost there. Three, two, and one. This time, we're gonna take it into our side lunge. So, with your side lunge, when you pause to the side, hip, knee, and ankle, all in one line. Try not to twist your body. Hips need to be neutral. 
Sink your hips down to pop back up. So act as if this hip was trying to hit a wall. And so your whole shin inside of your hip gets stuck in that wall. Option to take a swing to really open up. Get that inner thigh moving. In three, in two. Come together, go on the opposite side. Same thing, sit your hips back. Try not to twist in your body. Hips need to stay narrow, neutral. Shoulders over your hips. Hip knee and ankle in line. Pop all the way back up. What you do with your arms, completely up to you. That helps keep your hips neutral. By keeping your hands on your hips, do so. Again, you can take that swing in front of that other foot just to open up through those thighs. Good. Lengthen through your inner thigh. Contract through your outer. Three. In two. And one. Feet down. We're going to find a baby shuffle. Really, you have more space. Optimally, you want to make these really wide. But your body position should stay in a low squat. Try not to do the shuffle out with your toes. So really try to keep your toes facing towards the front. Butt down, center of gravity low. Twist it. So get that twist at the bottom. This time, shoulders and hips do not have to be neutral. Try to get those obliques, back body, everything opening up into those hips. Deep breaths in, about 10 more seconds, in your side shuffle. Get that heart rate going, get your body warm. In four, in three, finish to the other side, and relax. We're gonna take it into our first dynamic stretch. So. Bend your back knee, flex your front toe, move through your hamstring stretch, lift up. So we are not pausing. Static stretching is where you would pause and hold it. Dynamic stretching is moving through the stretch to find that lengthening of your muscle and then finding that neutral position all over again. So as soon as you get to your lowest point, that's where you stop, maybe a slight half second, Full second pause, but not, not sitting into it. Four, in three, in two, one, starting from that other side. Again, keeping those hips, shoulders neutral, core engaged. Sit those hips back like you're trying to reach for that chair. Push through your heel, flex your toes. If you flex your toes, you'll start to work the total part of your leg versus just wanting to push off with your quad. We want your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads to fire all at the same time. Option to take the swing, you don't have to. You can tap the foot in between, right next to that left foot, if it's easier. In three, two, and one, other side. Straight into it. Guys, we're already seven and a half minutes in. This is how quick that warm up should feel. But again, I'm already feeling really warm into my body. And if you can't tell by me talking a little bit slower, my heart rate's definitely getting up there and that's where we want you to be. Again, we're gonna finish this as soon as we finish the second round. So again, between eight to 10 minutes. In three, in two, and one. Find that side shuffle, maybe squat, shuffle it down. This time, find that twist. Get your obliques your core, your glutes, everything firing. You can even take the twist with that top arm. It really fires through the back part of your shoulder blades and expands through your chest. So you're again getting a nice stretch somewhere as you're getting that movement in. Deep breaths in. In four, in three, in two, and then finish to the other side. In, last time with your hamstrings. Hips neutral, bend that back toe, back to that front knee. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Got it, flex those toes. Again, moving through the motion, not pausing for more than like three seconds. Yeah? So, if you want to find a slight pause, one, two, three, the left up. Just don't hold it any longer than that. There we go. We're gonna do four more all together. Here's four. 
Here's three. Here's two. Got one more. And that's it. We hit about nine minutes, 30 seconds. So again, eight to 10 minutes long. Do what you can. If you still feel like you need to stretch a little bit longer, again, try to hold off on static stretching. So that would be holding anything longer for 30 seconds at a time. You don't want to lose power and elasticity. So you don't want to lose a lot of the contractions that your muscles will give you in a workout by stretching for too long before your workout. After your workout, completely different story, another topic for another day. I can't wait to do a workout with you guys. Use this warm up whenever you need to. You can do something like this. Normally I love, the weather's so nice outside right now. I'll go for a quick eight to 10 minute light jog just so I can get my heart rate up and my body moving. I tend to spend a little bit more time doing extensive dynamic flexibility, a lot like your hamstring stretch or foam rolling. So whatever is gonna get you to feel like your body's loose and ready for a workout, listen to your body and I will see you next time.